The world of country music was struck with sadness when news broke out that Kyle Jacobs, the husband of Kelly Pickler, had passed away in what authorities believe is a suicide. Jacobs was a renowned songwriter who worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. His death has left a void in the hearts of those who knew and loved him. In this article, we will take a closer look at who Kyle Jacobs was, the tragic circumstances surrounding his death, and how his wife, Kelly Pickler, is coping with the loss. Kyle Jacobs was a talented songwriter who moved to Nashville in 2000 to pursue his passion for music. Over the years, he worked with several well-known artists, including Garth Brooks, Tim McGraw, and Kelly Clarkson, among others. Jacobs was the recipient of several awards throughout his career, including a CMA Award, an ACM Award, and a Grammy Award nomination. On Friday, February 25, 2022, authorities were alerted to a home in Nashville where they found Jacobs deceased from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. His death is being investigated as an apparent suicide. Jacob's final Instagram post shared the day before his death showed a photo of Lee Bryce's Hey World becoming certified platinum, which he captioned with a message of gratitude and honor. In the wake of her husband's death, Kelly Pickler released a statement expressing her grief and gratitude for the outpouring of love and support from fans and the music industry. She spoke of her husband's kind heart and creative talent and asked for privacy as she mourns the loss of the love of her life. Kyle Jacobs had an impressive career in the music industry, working with some of the most prominent names in country music. He was responsible for penning hits like Garth Brooks' More Than Memory and Tim McGraw's Still. Over the years, Jacobs won several awards, including a CMA Award, an ACM Award, and a Grammy Award nomination. Kelly Pickler and Kyle Jacobs first met when they were paired to write a song together in 2008. They began dating shortly after and got engaged in 2010 during a romantic trip to a Florida beach. They tied the knot in a surprise ceremony on January 1, 2011. The couple was inseparable and often shared their love for each other on social media. In the days after their wedding, Pickler tweeted about their honeymoon on a private island, smoking cigars, and sipping rum. Kyle Jacobs' tragic death has left a void in the hearts of those who knew and loved him. He was a talented songwriter and an important figure in the country music industry. As Kelly Pickler mourns the loss of her husband, she can take comfort in the fact that he will always be remembered for his creative talent, kind heart, and the love he shared with her. The music industry was in shock when news broke of the apparent suicide of songwriter Kyle Jacobs on Friday. Jacobs had celebrated a career milestone in his final Instagram post, which made his death even more difficult to comprehend. This article explores Jacob's final post, his role in the success of Lee Bryce's album Hey World, and his achievements throughout his career. On Thursday, the day before his death, Kyle Jacobs posted on Instagram to celebrate the success of Hey World, which he had worked on as a composer and producer. Platinum? Sweet! An amazing crew of incredibly talented peeps put this one together, he wrote, before expressing his gratitude to be part of the album. He ended his post by saying, Thank you Jesus. Little did anyone know that this would be his last social media post. Hey World was released in November 2020 and quickly became a hit with fans of country music. The album went gold in November 2021, with the single One of Them Girls reaching double platinum and Memory I Don't Mess With being certified gold. The album also featured the 4X Platinum single Hard to Love, which was originally released on Lee Bryce's sophomore album. As a composer and producer, Kyle Jacobs played an integral role in the making of Hey World. He also contributed his talents as an acoustic guitar player and background vocalist. According to AllMusic, Jacobs' fingerprints can be found all over the album, which is widely regarded as one of Lee Bryce's best works. The Nashville Police Department confirmed on Friday that they had responded to an emergency call regarding Kyle Jacobs. Jacobs was found deceased at his home, and his death is being investigated as an apparent suicide. The news of his death has left his family, friends, and fans reeling. The investigation into Jacobs' death is ongoing, and little information has been released about the circumstances surrounding it. Authorities have not yet revealed whether they found a note or any other evidence to suggest why Jacobs may have taken his own life. Kyle Jacobs had a long and successful career as a songwriter, composer, and producer. He relocated from Minneapolis, Minnesota, to Nashville in 2000 and quickly made a name for himself in the music industry. 
He wrote Garth Brooks' 2007 hit More Than a Memory and Tim McGraw's Still. He also worked with many other well-known artists, including Kelly Clarkson, Randy Travis, Scott McCreary, Josh Kelly, and Clay Walker. Throughout his career, Jacobs won a CMA Award, an ACM Award, and was nominated for a Grammy Award. He was widely regarded as one of the best songwriters of his generation, and his contributions to country music will never be forgotten. Kyle Jacobs was married to American Idol alum Kelly Pickler, and the couple had been together for over a decade. They tied the knot in a secret ceremony in 2011, and their relationship was one of the most enduring in the music industry. Pickler released a statement following Jacobs' death, expressing her shock and grief. She said, I will forever cherish his big heart, infectious smile, his goofy sense of humor, and his talent that he shared with the world through his words and music. Pickler also thanked fans for their outpouring of love and support during this difficult time. The loss of Kyle Jacobs has undoubtedly left his loved ones and fans in a state of shock and sadness. Coping with grief is never easy, and it can be especially challenging when it is sudden and unexpected. It is important to allow yourself time to process your emotions and seek support from family, friends, or a mental health professional. The tragic death of Kyle Jacobs serves as a reminder of the importance of mental health awareness. It is essential to prioritize mental health and seek help if you are struggling. There is no shame in asking for help, and it is essential to recognize that seeking treatment for mental health concerns is a sign of strength. Lee Bryce is mourning the loss of his dear friend and songwriting partner, Kyle Jacobs. In a heartfelt message shared on social media, Bryce expressed his deep sadness and the difficulty he's facing in the wake of Jacob's death. These past few days have truly been some of the hardest of my life, Bryce wrote. At times, I feel lost and buried under this deep sadness. Other times, I sit and remember all the times with Kyle that bring me comfort and make me smile. For Lee Bryce, Kyle Jacobs was more than a friend, he was a brother. The two had a close bond that was evident in their work together. Jacobs produced Bryce's studio albums, and the duo co-wrote numerous hit songs. Their partnership earned them their first country hit with Garth Brooks' More Than a Memory. They went on to write 11 more songs for Bryce's albums, including the chart-topping rumor. Jacobs also earned an ACM for Single of the Year for the song I Drive Your Truck, which he produced for Bryce. Jacobs was a talented songwriter who touched many lives with his music. His songs were recorded by dozens of hitmakers, including Scotty McCreary, Tim McGraw, and George Strait. Although he scored an AC hit in the early 2000s, it was his work with Bryce that earned him recognition in the country music industry.